Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a uh, handgun red dot optic to review. And this one is from Zulissi and this is their Oak model. Um, so it is RMR cut and let's go ahead and see what we got in the box here. So. so first and foremost, we've got some paperwork and it is the Oak red dot and cleaning cloth battery it's nice to have here we have our uh, our different optic screws for you know very varying lengths depending on your slide and what you have going on so we'll we'll be sure to check that out and then here we have the optic itself and it does have a nice little cover on it so in its current configuration it's set up to be run on a uh, pictini rail however you just take these uh two screws out right here, and then it will be able to be fitted onto an RMR cut slide. Um, so here's a uh, handgun here. So it's gonna be able to fit this RMR cut slide. I am clear, no mag, no round, we're good. So um, take this uh, plate off here and then she'll slap right on there. Um, However, in its current configuration, you could run it as a uh, backup optic on an AR or whatever the heck you have a uh, Pictini rail mount on. So uh, it's pretty cool that they give you that option, I guess. All right, and then here we have the two Allen keys to secure it, and that's all that's in the box. So let's uh, let's read some stats on this bad boy before we go any further. So this is a uh, it's a red dot. <laughs> obviously it does have shake awake so that's a plus um that'll help save battery life and that battery does uh mount right here so you technically don't need to uh to unmount it to uh replace your battery so that's always a plus all right so it has a high performance multi-layer coated lens for a sharper image it's made of 6061 aircraft grade aluminum it is ipx7 waterproof rated for trouble free performance um, and this thing has a three year end to end warranty. So that's pretty sweet. Um, plus minus obviously for your, your brightness. So it is manual brightness. It's not auto. So I don't know if people, I kind of am leaning more towards manual nowadays versus auto. I have both, so it doesn't really matter to me either way. So I think it's a uh, pretty cool, whatever setting you set it to, that's where it's going to shake awake and be right back at that setting. So just, just know that. All right, um, it comes with both the uh, the Pictini rail mount and the uh, Trigicon RMR cut, so we're gonna be good either way. And then obviously you'll have your windage adjustments here for up and down, and then right here for left and right. And this is a three, uh, three MOA reticle, so we're gonna get this thing going here in a second. I'll put a battery in there and see what we got. Anything else on here that uh, is pertinent to us right now? Um, <clears throat> The adjustments, what are they? At 50 yards, one click will yield about half inch of adjustment. All right, that's cool. That's cool. So one click equals one MOA at 100 yards. All right, pretty standard stuff. All right, <clears throat> so let me uh, go ahead and get this uh, this Pictini rail off of here, and then we'll just be lift with the optic in its RMR cut configuration. So I'll be right back. All right, so we've got the uh, Pictini rail base mount off of there, and you see how it would just line up with those front lugs right there, and then your two screws line up, and that's how that whole piece attaches right there. But we're not going to need that. We just need the RMR cut piece right here. So again, clear. This is gonna sit right on top here, and those two screws will bolt right up to our RMR slide. I'm not gonna install it on camera because that's frowned upon via YouTube's rules, so it is what it is. So you get the tool to be able to take this battery, uh, battery tray out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a couple of screws real quick we'll go ahead and get that installed and then uh we will be on our way to getting this thing on the pistol and seeing what we got say uh a little bit of an inconvenient spot and location but i've seen worse i've seen much much worse so 
all right, it's already got a battery. I didn't even bother to press the on button to see if it, uh, if it turned on, but no worries. Better to uh, check and make sure that it's there than to, uh, to just assume and not know what you have going on. All right, so that's tightened back down. Press this on button here and we've got a dot. So let me see if I can get that in the camera for you guys. There she is. And then I'll try to go through the brightness settings real quick. So it's getting brighter, bright, bright, bright. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back down. Try to hold it still for you. <laughs> Being real weird here. All right, and then it goes all the way black, so. Cool. That's a pretty uh, pretty clear dot for, especially you guys seeing it through the camera, it's gonna be a little bit weirder and distorted, but uh, with my eye, it looks much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, mounted up onto the slide here, and we'll see how she looks and how she sits on there. All right, one sec. All right, guys, so here it is. One more time, clear, no mag inserted. So there it is, the uh, Zulissi Oak mounted on to my, uh, ELD slide with a uh, Palmetto State uh, frame here. So this is a Glock 19, you know, knockoff, whatever. Um, so I think it looks pretty awesome sitting up here. Let me go ahead and see if I can uh, point it down here. And we'll go ahead and get this red dot in the camera. So there she is. Lines up pretty nice with the, uh, the sights there. Obviously, I'm going to have to sight it in, adjust it a little bit, so we'll see how she does. But uh, I think this thing looks pretty sweet. And if you see that pink Jeep, yes, it's mine. I'm off-road AF. But anyway, <laughs> so there it is, guys, the Zulissi Oak. This thing looks pretty good. I uh, will have a part two where I'm actually shooting this thing. And uh, it may or not be with this frame, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how it goes. But guys, um, so far so good. Quality feels right. I think I might do a, a torture test with this uh, with this optic real quick. See if the uh, the waterproof rating is what it says it is. And then, uh, so maybe this will be a three part. So here's the initial unboxing and mounting. I'm probably gonna take it off and then uh, do a little bit of torture testing with it, and then I'll put it back on, and uh, we'll shoot this thing and see how the oak does. So uh, stay tuned for uh, multiple parts of this, uh, this optic here. And real quick, one more thing. So it comes with a variation of screws, like we said before. So I had to do some, uh, some trial and error here to see which ones worked out the best. And I'll go ahead and let you know that for me and my slide, it was these number six, 32 by 0.374 inch. So that's the five by, or the 5.5 millimeter um, nut diameter and then the 9.5 millimeter length. And the tool works for all the screws that they give you, so you're good. And then this little tool here will let you adjust your windage and your your elevation and your windage so you don't really have to have any tools on hand i know if you're like me you throw these things away that come with every you know everything you buy gun related but something like uh this little tool here if you don't have uh, a dedicated tool in your in your range kit then you might want to keep that around because most people don't carry a, a straight head that's uh that's that small so all right guys let me know what you think down in the comments like share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, guys, have a good one.